Hello Super Friends and welcome to DC TV Talk. This is the show where we talk all things Supergirl, The Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Arrow and Black Lightning. And in today's video we're going to be doing my review for the season finale of Arrow Season 6. That's Season 6 Episode 23, otherwise called Life Sentence. So let's jump straight into it. This episode started out with an incredible action sequence. Like the action in this episode is unparalleled. I mean, it's literally, this is what you get from a directed episode by James Bamford. And we got an amazing action sequence of uh, Oliver storming the SCPD with uh, all of the members of Team Arrow and the FBI in tow. And it was really awesome to see these different fights. And then they realized that the reason they stormed the building was to find Diaz. And they actually see that Diaz wasn't there. But although the mission was a fail, it was still an awesome scene nonetheless. We then go to this other location where Diaz is supposedly going to be, and it's a massive room full of explosives. And this was an awesome scene. We see uh, the FBI go in there, and Renee is also in there. And we see that, basically, it's a massive trap, and they're all surrounded by laser trip wires, which, if they go off, will, scan, will just send the building sky high. And this is where we see Renee actually realizing the fact that he's probably not going to get out of this situation. And he brings out his phone, and he uh, calls Zoe, his daughter, and we get a really good conversation, really great acting from Rick Gonzalez, where he's talking to his daughter, saying, basically saying that he loves her and that he's very proud of her but also obviously just not saying goodbye. And it was a really nice scene, uh, and I really enjoyed the acting there from Rick Gonzalez. It was a really nice little moment for him. And this is then followed up by an amazing little conversation with really good writing here between Oliver and Renee, where they are discussing about how Oliver is actually very proud of Renee and the man he's turned into and, you know, how they found him, you know, when he first kind of came across him, he was a, you know, a, a, just a thug with a very silly costume, which was a nice little line. And it was just a really nice, again, like little reconciliation moment between Oliver and Renee, which has been happening over the past few weeks. Now, Quentin, I was actually incredibly smart in this episode as he's been kind of talking to Diaz for the past couple of weeks and uh, he actually arranges to meet him and he actually brings a tracker with him, which was actually very well done because he actually wants to see Laurel alive because Diaz has captured Laurel in this episode and basically Diaz is using her as leverage where he's saying, okay, if you tell the FBI to get out of the city, I will you give you Laurel. And basically Quentin says, right, I want to I want to see Laurel. I want proof of life. And this was actually really clever because Quentin actually manages to get captured by Diaz. And because he has this tracker, Oliver was able to see the fact that he was able to actually get to Laurel, Quentin, and then also in turn catch Diaz. It was very smart on his part. And I really enjoy Quentin's little interactions there. However, this is where we see a very sad moment begin where we see uh, Ricardo Diaz walk into this prison cell holding Quinton and Laurel. He pulls out a gun and he actually does the big countdown from the promo and shoots Quinton in the chest. And this was a really sad moment. This is literally the beginning of the end of one of the best characters on Arrow. And it was really sad just to see Quinton just get shot and really struggling to go like that. But this is when Team Arrow and the FBI just bust into this place and we get an amazing rooftop fight scene with Oliver and Diaz and this was such a great fight you know this was we've seen Oliver and Diaz fight a little bit but not like this this was a full-on you know hero versus villain fight and it was really awesome to see them just properly going at it and Diaz was a really good fighter he was really effective he was actually holding his own very very well against Oliver but in the end Oliver does win by flipping him over and stabbing him with an arrow but then this is where we see Black Siren come in and she basically says, right, I've had enough of this. I've had enough of you. I'm going to end this. And she just screams and knocks him off the building. He goes flying into the river. But because he obviously went flying into the river, well, that's probably not going to kill Diaz. And it doesn't. And Diaz actually gets away. So this does confirm the theory that Diaz does survive this season and go into next season. And that was very interesting indeed. We then see Quinton in the hospital. And this is where Oliver comes in to talk to him. And this was when the tears started flowing my friends this was when i completely lost it oliver having this conversation with quinton who is essentially his father at this point was extremely powerful and seeing all these different things he was talking about you know and i love the fact that oliver says i had a great father quinton replies robert was a great man and Qu and oliver just says i wasn't talking about robert and it was it was just such a nice moment because obviously like i said these two have been on such a journey together ever since they started out hating each other and now they are practically father and son it was such a nice moment and it was a really nice send-off for paul blackthorn as an actor on the show and for quinton's character it was really nice just to have these two characters have this conversation and to talk to each other in this you know in these final moments it was really an emotional scene and this was when i really started to and i'm not going to lie here i'm not going to be you know secretive about it this was when i started to cry 
We do get the return of Sarah Lance in this episode. She is actually returning to Arrow. Obviously, she's on Legends of Tomorrow, but she came over to Arrow for this episode to see Quentin. And she actually has a really brief little interaction with Black Siren, which was really nice, where she says, are you anything like my Laurel? And she says, no, hardly at all, which was a really nice little moment. And this is a really awesome thing just to see Sarah back on Arrow. I really enjoyed that. However, this is when we have the most heartbreaking scene where we have everyone just sat around waiting uh, for Quinton and we see Samandra Watson and the FBI come in and say to Oliver that it's time and they actually arrest Oliver. And this was a really big moment that we knew was sort of going to happen. And to add insult to injury as the cuffs are going on, we see the doctor come out from the surgery room and say Quinton has seized and he has now passed away. And this was when I started physically bawling. Like, I have never cried so much at a TV show in my life. I was physically just waterfalls of tears. Like, this was so sad. Just to see Quinton, who's been on the show since episode one, and to have this six-year legacy to die at this point was really upsetting. And, you know, you can see Oliver really trying to fight it back. You know, I mean, he was crying when he was talking to him. So to see him kind of you know, find out that he actually died, you know, a few moments later was really upsetting. And the moment that really got me was where he looked at Sarah and said, I'm so sorry. That really hit me. And that was the moment that I was physically gone. And I just, like I said, tears just streaming. I mean, I cried at Martin Stein's death. I cried at Laurel's death. But I mean, I was physically, emotionally wrecked by Quentin's death. Like this was, I was not looking forward to this. I knew it was coming. And even though I knew it was happening, I, I mean, I basically knew it was happening because Paul Blackthorn, of course, announced he left the show. I still, just the emotional impact was there, and that is perfectly down to the acting and the writing. And if it wasn't as up, up there, I probably wouldn't have been able to, you know, have such an emotional response to it. But because it was so top-notch, I was physically, you know, and emotionally pretty much scarred by Quentin's death. It was so upsetting. However, we then have Oliver being escorted out by the FBI and he gets a basically a fistful of, of press and uh, they actually ask him why are you being arrested and he looks directly down the lens of the camera which I loved and just says it. He says, I am the Green Arrow and he goes on this amazing speech about how people have you know sacrificed themselves even for some people have lost their lives in the name of his crusade and he clears Roy Harper's name which is great that's obviously how Roy's going to come back next season he can come back to Star City now because he's, he's no longer a fugitive because his, his name's been cleared he also clears Tommy although obviously Tommy wasn't actually you know that's that's a whole different thing obviously um, and then he, he basically just says you know I want my friends to keep fighting I want my allies to keep going and to keep you know striving towards our objective which is to save the city and it was just a really great moment and now that everyone in you know, the world the public star city they know that oliver queen's the green arrow this is going to change arrow massively going into season seven but this is when we see oliver in prison and he is sent to a supermax and this was just an amazing astonishing way to end the season just to see him behind bars as the gates close in front of him was just wow i mean the game has changed for arrow like this has completely changed the course of the show and like i said i have no idea where they're going with this i don't know what they're going to do and that's incredibly exciting so tell me all your thoughts about this episode in the comment section down below did you think it was an amazing episode i personally did and like i said one of the most emotional episodes in the history of arrow also tell me all your theories about where they're going to go in season seven i mean i've got some videos planned like who's going to be the green arrow because diggle has the suit now so does that mean that Diggle is going to take up the mantle while Oliver's gone? Also, in terms of the villains, Ricardo Diaz is still alive. And he, you know, the Longbow Hunters have pretty much been confirmed as the villains for Season 7. You know, they, the, Longbow, the Longbow Hunters were referenced in this, in this episode. So it seems like they're going to be the villains of Season 7. So I've got a couple of videos coming out about, uh, about Arrow Season 7. But make sure you tell me all your theories about Season 7 and all of your opinions on this episode. Because it was phenomenal. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like. It'll help me out a lot. And share this video with anyone and everyone you know who loves DC TV and get them to join the community. And as always, guys, please subscribe for all of your latest content on Supergirl, The Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Arrow, and Black Lightning. And with all that said, guys, I hope to see you again in my next video.